We're now just six days away from Election Day in Texas, shaping up to become a key player on the national stage this year. With all of our growth, could Texas be a battleground state? The last time Texas electoral votes went to a Democratic candidate was in 1976. Since then, it's been a red state. Here's KV's Molly Oak. Is Texas a battleground state? It's a question we've heard since the start of the election. First, let's talk about what a battleground state is. When we think about the idea of a battleground state, that really has the campaign focus. The idea that the campaigns are going to battle there to get those votes. So what we're going to see is a lot of campaign visits, a lot of money being spent there, a lot of advertising, and even uh, campaign promises. That's Brian Smith. He's a political science professor at St. Edwards. A candidate needs 270 electoral votes to win the election. He says of the 538, fewer than 180 are up for grabs. There are so many state states out there that usually nine or 10 states that are actually in play. And this is the first time Texas has been in play in this century and well into the previous century. So yes, Smith says Texas is a battleground state this year, but what about for future elections? We don't know yet, but the fact that Texas is in play this late in the game means that the Republican Party cannot win the Electoral College without Texas, and if Texas goes Democratic, Donald Trump's chances are almost zero. He says basically if Texas stays red, then this year being a battleground state was an anomaly. But if Texas changes, Smith says the Republican Party has some work to do for future elections. Molly Oak, KVU News.